Hi, and welcome back to Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. There's been so much a buzz about this TikTok video that has gone viral called Baked Feta Pasta that I had to give it a try just to know how good it was. Seriously, it's effortless to prepare and yet so delicious. The pasta is coated in a creamy sauce of feta cheese and tomatoes and the flavor that the garlic and the herbs gives the sauce makes the pasta irresistible. If you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. So now let's get started. I'm going to drizzle about two tablespoons of olive oil at the bottom of the baking dish. And to that, I'm going to toss in about 900 grams of grape tomatoes. You could even use cherry tomatoes if you have. On top of that, I'm going to just drizzle a little more of olive oil and about another two tablespoons and sprinkle about half a tablespoon of oregano, half a tablespoon of basil. To the tomatoes, I'm gonna to add eight cloves of garlic. You could even put 10 cloves of garlic if you wanted, but these are pretty big ones, so I'm just putting eight. And I'm gonna give them a rough chop so that the flavor gets well distributed to all the tomatoes. For a little extra flavor, I'm gonna be adding some pancetta to it. This is 250 grams of pancetta. You don't really need to add it. The original recipe doesn't call for it, but I just felt like it'll give it a little better flavor. So I'm just going to empty some pancetta into this. If you want, you can even put bacon instead of pancetta, or you can use any meat that you prefer. And I'm gonna give this a light toss so that all the flavors get well mixed up. I'm creating a little kind of space here so that we can place the feta cheese inside it. It is the star of the show, so it's going right in the center. And now that's where we're gonna place the feta cheese. On top of the feta, I'm just gonna drizzle some more olive oil and also on top of the tomatoes, just a drizzle, about two tablespoons. There's some of the fat that's gonna release from the pancetta, so I'm going to just go easy on the olive oil. And just to spice it up, I'm adding some chili flakes on the top of the feta cheese. And just a little bit more, about a teaspoon of basil. We're gonna pop this into the oven for about 40 minutes and then broil it for about two to three minutes. And while that is getting ready, let's boil the pasta. To prepare the pasta, we're going to bring a pot of water to a boil and into that I'm going to put about half a box of the shell pasta is what I'm using today. This is about 454 grams, so it's about 200 grams that I will be using. We're going to add some salt now to that and we're going to let it cook till it's almost done as they say al dante. Our feta and tomatoes are now done and they're looking delicious. The aroma that I'm getting, it's really great. Now I'm just going to smash it down and get them all well combined. Wow, just see how creamy this is. Apparently this recipe is supposed to have originated in Finland and it's because of this recipe that feta cheese got sold out of all the grocery stores in Finland. I thought that was really amusing. See how creamy that is? And now we're going to add the pasta to it. I should have mentioned that I did not add any salt to this earlier because the feta cheese is salty and I had also added the pancetta which is salty. 
So we can taste it and then if necessary, add some more salt to it. So I'm just gonna add the pasta to this. I actually reserved a little bit of the pasta water because that will help to make a nice sauce. See that? It's creamy and nice. This recipe originally calls for using fresh basil but my local grocery store did not have basil, so I just opted to use fresh parsley instead. And we're going to put some nice freshly cracked black pepper. Now we're going to plate this and give it a taste. I hope you give this recipe a try. Subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The information is in the description below. Now it's time for us to give this a taste. I know I've got two bowls out, but I'm not gonna be eating both. We're gonna be calling in a die-hard TikTok fan to let us know if we've done TikTok proud. So here comes my daughter, Shannon. Hi, sweetie. Can you taste this and let me know whether we have met TikTok expectations? Oh yeah, for sure. Looks stunning to begin with, but let's give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna taste this one. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Got the pasta, the tomato, and the pancetta. A little cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's delicious. Mm. It's so creamy. And I love, mm, I love the tomatoes in it. It gives such a pop of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah, it's really nice. I have to get another bite. <laughs> wow, that's super fresh. I love it. And you definitely outdid yourself. Did TikTok way proud. And it's, it's amazing. I love it. I'm glad I gave this recipe a try and I was able to share it with you. Thanks for watching. See you soon.